In this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to create a simple logo out of two fonts. Hi guys and welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to create this simple Fundi software logo here out of just two different fonts. Alright, so let's get right into it. First of all, as you guys can see, I've got again a pretty cool background here, just a little bit of a color and a blurred effect onto a photo. It's simply you guys can also just create this on black or whatever you need. Alright, so let's get started right away. First of all, as you guys can see, normally I go to File, New and create a complete new canvas here. I'm directly going to work here just on this canvas and let's go and set canvas size quickly over here so you guys can also see the canvas size. Under the pixels here, as you guys can see, again, 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. This is due to my screen recorder, so that's why I have chosen this canvas size. You guys can feel free to use anything that you need. All right, so let's get started with it. First of all, I'm going to turn off the logo group over here and just start a complete new separate group here and just write here logo 2. So that is a new one. Okay, again, I'm going to press T for the text tool literally make a big selection here and first of all just write F in capital letters and as well I've already got the right font over here I'm just gonna select it again and show it to you guys it's also called Recom Script Demo you guys can also find that obviously in the description down below or on the font.com okay great so I've selected it made it a bit bigger as well over here somewhere around 150 pixels going to accept that and a white foreground color I'm literally going to just leave it over here, but first of all, we're going to press now Command J and duplicate that. As well, I'm working on a Mac, so if you are a Windows user, please use Control when I say Command. Okay, again, the text tool. I'm going to select this again, the selection here, and just write Yundi. Okay, so as you guys can see, first of all, a few features over here. The whole font is tilted a little bit, so it's as well here under the character box. If you guys don't have that, please go to Window and select character box over here. So in the character box or palette, I've selected here the tilt function, so everything is leaning a little bit, and the tracking mode, just putting that a little bit together, something like a minus 20 over here, so that these little areas here are just a little bit more narrow. Okay, accept that, and also going to just move stuff down a little bit. I'm also gonna press Z and zoom out a little bit. It's a little bit easier for me to see then. Okay, something like that. Again, select here just the Move tool. I'm going to put it somewhere over here. And I'm going to take the F and put that over here. But the F is still way too small. So again, select the Text tool. Again, select F. And we're going to make it almost double that size. 214. Okay, accept that from the top. Move tool. And literally just going to move that up a little bit. So what I'm looking now, first of all, I want to have a look that this distance here is almost pretty much the same distance as we have between these other letters and as well that at the bottom that also finishes off here with the Y ending. So the F and the Y are pretty much on the same level. Again, I'm going to go back here to the guides and just drag down a new guideline just to help myself a little bit. Put it somewhere over here. Select F again and literally just move F all the way down. And I can see that F is still way too small. So again, select the text tool, select F over here and make it even bigger. So somewhere around, yeah, like I said, almost double, 240. Okay, accept that and just move that all the way up again to the top. Okay, a little bit more down. So just having a look here. Okay, and stuff gets very creative now. So again, a little bit in. Something like that. Okay, going to select F and Unity together with Command. You guys can also hold Control if you're on Windows. Don't forget. Okay, put it somewhere in the center. I'm going to take the guideline, throw it out again. Okay, so for the next step again, Text Tool. Literally going to make a small selection down here. And I'm just going to write here Software in capital letters. Okay, you guys can't see it. I'm going to select everything. Make it super small. As well, white foreground color here. Basically just white color. And I'm going to select a complete new different font. Again, for this, I'm going to select Helvetica Neue, which is basically over here. You guys can also find that in the description or again on the font.com. Okay, first of all, it's leaning as well. So I'm going to turn off italic here. I don't want that to be leaning. And as well here, the tracking. Let's switch that just to zero tracking. 
Okay, and the size, I'm going to switch this to ultra light and accept it from the top. Okay, and just take the move tool and literally just move that again with the cursors into the center here. So I think it's a little bit too big still. I'm going to take the text tool again, just hit T on the keyboard and select everything, make it a little bit smaller over here. Okay, somewhere around this size, let's make it 30. Okay, actually a little bit smaller, 28 pixels. Accept that, and I'm going to move that a little bit into the center. So if you don't want it literally in the center and it looks a bit weird, select it again. Okay, just select the right layer here, software, and I'm going to put the tracking out actually a little bit. So just spreading that, yeah, to 180 for the test. Okay, and move that over a little bit. Yep, going to select it again. So this is obviously a bit of a playing thing again. Try it out, what works the best for you. Okay, and over here I switched it now to 120 tracking and I'm pretty happy with that. Now, quickly, another step. I'm going to press Command J, duplicate this layer again. Just move it here to the top, select it with the text tool again and just going to make a copyrighted sign really quickly with this. On the same font, same style, everything. So literally, just hold Alt and R together and that will give you a copyrighted sign. Again, select that, make it half the size almost, say 20, accept it, and just with the move tool, going to move it somewhere here next to the undi again. Okay, so that's basically the first start already. So we finished already with the logo. But over here, the F doesn't look too nice at all. So what I want to do is, first of all here, I'm just going to select the undi and F and going to make a duplicate of that. Let's maybe move that to the top of the layers palette press command J, duplicate those. So I'm going to turn off F and Undi over here. These are kind of like my backup. If I still need them, I can just duplicate and copy paste them again. I'm going to work just with these two over here. But now I'm also going to rasterize these layers, which means that we cannot use it as a text type anymore. Once we've rasterized it, it's like a normal layer. So I'm literally just going to hit right click on here and say rasterize type. And again, the second Unity copy to rasterize type as well via right click. Okay, great. So one step that we can actually do now, if you, for instance, don't have a color background like I do with a bit of creative things, say it's just a black background like this. What you could do is double click here on the Unity Copy 2 layer. This brings you in the layer styles and under stroke, you can literally just let the outer layer here have a little bit of a stroke. So again, I can also put the size up, which will then switch it maybe to like a seven or eight or something. Hit OK. And as you guys can see, we've already cut out the U here on the F really nicely. But say for instance, you've got that now, I'm just going to turn off the effects here. Say for instance you've got that here on just a normal background layer like I have with a bit of color. What I would do then is just go back to Unity over here. First of all, turn off the F layer here, just F2 copy, select Unity again, select the magic wand, select the font over here, go back to F copy, switch it on and press delete once on it. Now I'm going to press command D, Windows users, please don't forget, control for you. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And you guys can see I've got a little bit of an outer line here. So now what I'm going to do is take again P for the pen tool and literally just going to make a really nice round path around this and cutting out actually the F completely. All right, so let's start with that as well. I'm going to put an anchor point over here, another anchor point, and I'm just going to do it really roughly and quickly as well now. If you guys are also not familiar with this, um, have a look on the channel. We've created a whole tutorial teaching you guys how to work with a pen tool. And guys, please take a little bit more time than I do here. I'm just cutting it out really quickly here just to show you guys the effect. Okay, completing the whole path. Right click, make a selection out of that path. Zero feathering, please. Okay, and deleting it on the F. Command D and just zooming out a little bit and there you guys can also see it looks a bit rugged. I should have taken a bit more time to do this, but just showing you guys the effect over here. So that's a way how you can also cut it out and now it's completely out of your way. You don't have any effects or anything out of in your way there. You can also now delete again Unity Copy 2 here and just obviously turn it on at the bottom. But you will obviously still need the F Copy 2 here. Again, select everything, put it together in a group, or you already have a group, and then you are done. 
going to select it again and just literally move the whole group here a little bit into the center yeah and you can also still transform it and play a little bit with this okay so that's basically my second version of this obviously here's the first version a bit more time a bit more careful and I'm just not happy about this gap over here but you guys kind of get the point Alright, so that's basically also all for this tutorial. If you guys liked it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, share it with all your friends that are new to this or would like to see something like this. Thanks again guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Thanks guys, bye bye. <laughs>